The Colorado State Capitol will be a bit more crowded this week. Lawmakers return to work on Wednesday. Today, Democratic leaders and Governor Polis talked about their goals. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live. Megan, our state lawmakers will be busy this session. Oh, absolutely. They have a lot of things on their priority list, including health care, housing, public safety, cutting costs. I mean, you name it. Governor Polis also spoke at length today at that press conference about wanting to reduce fees as costs across the state in a lot of different areas rise. But Republicans who were listening in on that press conference on the sidelines today already have their criticisms. House Speaker Alec Garnett. It happens before every legislative session, a rundown of sorts of all the things lawmakers want to get done in the 120 days of work ahead. For Democrats, that list of promises and priorities starts today. We're going to make housing more affordable by directing nearly $400 million of federal funds into proven strategies to reduce costs on housing. On the west steps of the state capitol, a banner with the highlights from affordable housing to cutting costs. We're open to additional fee relief, including reducing vehicle registration fees, gas and driver's license fee reductions, making it free to start a business in Colorado. That list of bills to come also includes new measures to protect public safety. This session we are investing $1 billion in some of the deeply rooted causes to address the crime challenges. Education, another major focus after a couple very difficult years for school districts across the state. This session, we're going to make the largest investment in K-12 education in the state's history to prepare our workforce and students for success and to ensure every single student has the resources in their classrooms to succeed. For Republicans who watch the press conference from the sidelines Monday. We say that um, Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Well, we saw a lot of imitation here today. They say that list sounds awfully familiar. They held a pre-session press conference at a gas station in August. You'll also note the big three issues. As Republicans, we are the party who will deliver on prioritizing public safety, on making Colorado affordable, and on expanding educational choice. The list of Republican and Democratic priorities certainly seems to line up in many areas. So maybe there's some places they can work together. But Representative Hugh McKean says the difference is in the details. A lot of times I say that, that we often want to go toward the same place, but how we get there is different. It's those details we'll find out more about when both sides start introducing their bills on Wednesday. Republicans are set to hold another press conference on Wednesday for the start of the session where they're planning on unveiling, I'm told, 40 bills that are going to be highlighting those priorities. Now, to put that into context, normally in a legislative session, we see about 600 bills, only a fraction of them pass. So we'll be keeping a close eye on all of it. But all I got to say, Ann and Jessica, is just brace yourselves. It's going to be a busy legislative session. I'm live, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.